Okay guys, we're out here fishing. It's early morning. We're actually practicing for a tournament. Now, this right now is the week before the tournament. I don't, I'm not sure when y'all see it. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, just stack these together to where today you're gonna see this video. Tomorrow, you're probably gonna see the day before the tournament. And then in three days from today, for you guys, you're gonna be seeing the tournament. Now, the lake I'm at today, it's basically a dammed up river. And it's, it's like a hundred foot deep. This is weird, because it takes six pounds to win, no lie six pounds of bass to win but now i'm looking around here and it looks like they might be a shad spawn going on that's awesome if it is that's probably best case scenario for me but anyways there's no signs that say you can't fish in the marina so i'm gonna start fishing while my dad's still getting the boat hooked up so yeah first thing i'm gonna do is pull out a bait to see if there is a shad spawn and that bait that i'm gonna pull out to see it's gonna be a spinner bait. Now the way I'm gonna know it's a shad spawn is if I throw it out there and reel it back and it feels like I'm getting constant bites the whole way back. That's actually not getting bit. That's actually shad trying to spawn with my blades. But uh, and another way is if you bring it in and you got a little ball of shad right around your lure, then yeah, the shad are spawning. But the thing about a shad spawn is you can get a limit of bass in five casts, but there's a catch to it. It only lasts for like the first hour of daylight. So if there's a shad spawn, you really got to capitalize on it early. Now, where do you look for a shad spawn? They like really hard stuff, boat ramps, rock banks. They really like floating docks. As for depth, the shad really don't care whether it's in two foot of water or 200 foot of water. But, uh, you know, typically deeper water is a little bit better just because the bass like to be there and the bass are more comfortable whenever they are in deeper water. Now, another thing that's pretty important for the shad spawn is water temperature. Now, about 70 degrees, 72, that's prime. Anything below, eh, anything above, eh. But they won't spawn right in the middle of the summer. It needs to be, you know, a little bit a little bit warmer than the bass spawn, but I may be completely wrong. The shad may not be spawning at all. Okay, here we go. It says that it's 54 degrees. Either that's not right, or we got a problem, because that water's cold, and it's the middle of May. Okay, guys, well, I don't know if I told you this, but this lake is full of marinas and stuff and it's basically a giant idle zone you can run a, you can run your boat a little bit but eh, i don't know but anyways that front fish finder i don't know i guess the transducer was cold from the drive down here but on my hummingbird which is a whole lot more reliable it says the water temperature is 67 and that's getting right there good and look at all this bait and stuff i mean if you look at all that shad you'd think it's a good lake but when it takes six pounds to win I don't know. Last tournament I was here, first place was like six pounds, second place was like six pounds. Like from fifth place down, it was like if you got a fish, you were doing real good. But I mean, last time I was here, I caught one fish, two pounds something, and we came in like 20th. But I mean, hopefully that'll change for us because I got a sort of a plan. But uh, yeah, for now, we're just gonna idle for about 20 more minutes and then we're gonna try to get on over to the spot. That's a shad following my bait. We're in good good shape. Gosh, yeah they are. They're shad. Shad spawn, baby. Look up under there, Dad. Look up under that. Those styrofoam. They're up there flipping. Yeah. yeah. Shad spawn's on. Oh yeah, let's see if I can pull in some shad. Oh yeah, the shad spawn. Yep, 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 yep. They're shad, baby. Let's go. The shad are spawning. Now, I just came up to this dock. I knew that the shad spawn, you know, sort of, it's about the time of the year. The water temperature's right. And I came up to this first dock, and I saw shad flipping right up there. And the way they spawn is by getting up and bumping into something. And so they get up there and bump into those styrofoam things, and now they're, you know, they're spawning right up under there. And then the bass will just get up under them and just come up and slam them the whole time they're spawning. And then I and then I threw my spinner bait out and I had a little pot of shad following my bait in. And that's a telltale sign that the shad are 100% spawning. I'm target casting at these docks. Yeah, I hit that dock real good. I hit the 10. Hopefully there's no one up. <laughs> it's for sale, guys. If you want to call 859-265. 0515. You almost got a spinner bait with the deal, but it came off the roof. Got him, boys. Yes, sir. In the worst lake in the state, and I just caught a fish in it. Let's go. 
Let's go. And I'll just go ahead and take... Ah! About killed me right there. The lake here, this is Harrington. Guys, I promise, this is the worst lake in the state of Kentucky. Let's see. If this guy's 12 inches, he's a keeper. We're going to keep our best five just to see if we can get anywhere near six pounds. Before the end of the day, he is 12 inches. We'll go ahead and put him in there. There's a good in there. Uh, oh my gosh, that was like a, that was like a three pounder, or three three and a half. That was a big in there, and I mean three three and a half. That ain't a good fish, guys. But on this lake, that's like big fish. I ain't even kidding. There's a good and get the net, Dad. The net on him. Hey, I can probably flip him. What, Dad? Awesome. It's just a fish is a fish. Said it wasn't much, but it made a net. Nice. That's pretty good for Harrington, but anywhere else, dude, that's just a fish. Probably call him anywhere else. This guy's been caught for half his jaw's gone. We'll put him in the live well right here. I about guarantee it's something to do with that fresh water coming in. Brand new fresh oxygenated water coming right in here. Got him. Shaky head this time. Yeah, fishing for a week ain't gonna hurt nothing. Catch it. Got him. Oh man, that's a giant. That's not a bass. That's not a bass at all. Well, dang it. I think I got a giant drum on. Gosh, she ain't even let up. But then again, I still don't necessarily want to break off my shaky head, so. Whatever. Yeah, I need the net. I'm going to have to chase this fish down. It's a trailer motor. He's a big and whatever he is. That ain't no bass. If it's a bass, it's over 10 pounds. But I'm pretty sure it's a drum. Let's see what he is. He won't let me see. Dumb fish. Oh, man. Everything. Oh, my God. I ain't even saw him yet. Striper. I don't know. It's either a striper or a hybrid or a white bass or something. We'll weigh him. Yeah, we'll weigh him. Get ready, Dad. He'll probably take off right here and surge. Yeah, there he is. He's heavy. Yeah, he's a good one right there. Here we go. Shaky head fell right out. That there is a monster. Look at that belly. That belly is fat as can be. This would be good to eat, but I don't have time to take him home, so. I we gonna weigh him. No, I ain't gonna weigh him. I just waste my time. There's a big one. Get the net, Dad. Get the net. That is a donkey. I mean a donkey. Oh my goodness, that is a tank of a fish. Nope, bass, he's got me hung in rocks. Here, net him, he's a, he's a good one, Dad. And I mean a good one. Lord have mercy, what kind of fish is that? It's a giant, that's what kind he is. Yes, look at that thing. Man, that's a good one right there. You know, uh, I, I did say that it took six pounds to win here. To be honest, guys, I don't know if that's going to be the case for, for this next tournament. Last tournament I was here, six pounds won. That was in the fall. Now it's in May, and uh, the big ones are biting. It's crazy. But don't get hung on the boat. You need to stand up, dude. good mm. there we go that'll help okay well it's about midday we've caught four or five fish something like that 
five, four or five fish in pockets. We barely know that they're in pockets, but we need a backup plan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the main lake, look for some more docks. Now we did fish dock, main lake docks this morning, didn't catch any, but we're gonna go out there main lake docks and we're gonna look at isolated docks, docks where it's a whole bank and one dock on the whole bank. So hopefully, you know, if there's any fish on that bank, they'll be near the dock. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And the bad thing about these docks is that they're basically all suspended over 60 to 80 foot of water. I just don't know, there's shad on them, but this morning we couldn't get a bite on them at all. We're gonna go try it midday right now because all the fish that are there, they should be tucked up under it in the shade. So maybe we can skip something up under there and maybe pull one out. But that's what we're gonna go see if we can do. Well guys, it's 12.30. Um, we, we tried the main lake docks uh-uh, I ain't doing that. I, it's either they ain't fish there or I don't know how to fish it. And either one of those means I shouldn't be fishing it in a tournament. But uh, now we came back in the main back of a creek and there's not bass back here either that we could catch easily. But we did catch bass fairly easy on main lake pockets. So we're gonna do like a milk run deal in the tournament to so just keep running around, pick a few spots, just running around and fish those like the whole day. Cause I really do think that'll pay off. But uh, you know how earlier this morning I said there's a bunch of shad? I don't think those are shad. I, those are a few pods got right up on the boat. They're like little pin men or things. I don't know what, the, I really don't. The place is called Harrington. I don't know if that means that there's blueback herring in it. I don't know what those are. And they look pretty weird, but I'm gonna try to find out and I'll tell you before the video's over for sure. But now we're just gonna go around, fish more pockets, cause it is a week before catching fish now isn't gonna matter so yeah we're just going to see if we can catch any midday on that stuff okay guys well we only finished with four fish I don't know why I really don't but anyways we're gonna put them in a bag then we're gonna weigh them to see what our four fish limit I guess how much they weigh there it's zeroed with the bag there's one there's number two it's not giant or anything and yeah, number three is a whole lot bigger than the other ones and then here's number four. Ah, oh, oh, a really good one. And there she is. Let's see. All right, we'll see what they weigh right here. Six, seven. That ain't too good. We'll go ahead and see what our biggest fish weighs though. Our biggest fish is two pounds and an ounce. Not a giant. But yeah, I still don't know what kind of fish those were, what kind of bait fish they were. I really don't have an idea what they were, but I don't know. Come back tomorrow for probably the next practice day, which will be the day before the tournament. So yeah, come back tomorrow, three o'clock. 